The Galactic Free Press update. The love energy is heating up on planet Earth equal heart. We're bringing humanity home. Energy and events update. Greetings, love beings. We are very close, and the energies are really heating up. To measure just how energetically close to all our events manifestation, we have had several different attempts over the past week, which are showing just that. Not only has the Galactic Free Press website been attacked this week, we now have been banned from Facebook for the third time. These failed attempts to try to detour and distract others from the light and truth is only working in the favor of the light. This has always been the case, as the energy of love is the real power on the planet, despite what you see out there in the duality realm. This boost of focus is exactly what we needed. This just brings more attention to the light and reveals more of the denser energies to be cleared. We are now asking all of our members and all who listen and read our messages to flood Facebook with the light. They simply cannot ban all of us. Submitted by Mom T. They may be able to shut you down on Facebook, but cannot stop what is inevitable. There are a lot of us that have been posting anyway. The light and love will win. We are all a part of your family and know the love you have for all of us. Submitted by Reggie. Truth cannot be banned. Laugh and the world laughs with you. If they only knew how utterly pathetic they are in these silly childish attempts to control. All they succeed in accomplishing is pushing the cur curiosity buttons of all those who are still sitting on the fence leaving them asking, why? Laugh, he he ha ha, silly children. Much love and light, you have a world of support. Many are questioning our support for President Obama. We do not get involved in politics. However, as beings of love, we do support him and Michelle in their endeavors, and we see their love. If you can see them as, as you and you as a real love being, then you can truly see them as we do. The recent speeches from the Democratic Convention who are representing the givers on this planet are displaying real human beings with real human feelings and genuine concern. Watching First Lady Michelle stand firm and tall in the courage of the feminine energies of real love was absolutely brilliant and set up the stage for the incoming 9-9 through 9-11 energies. CNN actually said this about Michelle Obama's speech from the Democratic Convention. The overall emotion, and there was far more real as opposed to a rhetorical emotion than any speech at this level in memory, was a feeling rarely conveyed in our political language today, love. The First Lady's speech already has a place in the history books. But does it explain why it may actually change what will be written in them? Should that occur? It will be, both, it will be because, almost for the first time in four years, she single-handedly brought Democrats, Democrats to tears and to their feet at the idea of Barack Obama as President of the United States. It will be up to him whether to choose change over comedy when a leader cannot have both, and when the opportunity to give a second inaugural address that will be better than his first, as perhaps a second term may be more successful on more fronts than his first. Or Mrs. Obama reminded the nation Tuesday night, being president doesn't change who you are, it reveals who you are, end of quote. Suzanne Ward, with messages for Matthew, had this to say as well, and we agree with this truth. It's essential that the Obama presidency continues. This has nothing at all to do with politics in that country or any other. It has everything to do with the Golden Age Master Plan. The plan is according to what Gaia, her soul, wants. She wants a peaceful a world with everything having a fair share and everyone respecting all of her nature realm. The highest universal council 
chose as a major player, a soul with highly evolved spiritual status, ancient wisdom, and world leadership experience in many lifetimes. That soul is Barack Obama. He was born with and has retained Gaia's vision of Earth, and he has the inspiration and qualifications to achieve it. His re-election is imperative to the plan going forward because his opponent, opponent isn't capable of or interested in making the changes the plan requires. We are totally apolitical, and we're not belittling Mitt Romney. It's that he and those who share his views aren't motivated to change the status quo where money is concerned and that gross inequity of the few with billions and the billions with little or nothing can't go on, and it won't. Er will not allow that imbalance to continue. End of quote. We have shared the mass removals have been in process, with this as well as the disclosure of the truth which is now occurring at a fast rate across the foundational energy of the web of light we have now secured into the heart of this planet. Sheldon Nidles had this to say, Come with more news. We have instructed the secret sacred societies to prepare to come forward. Once the first disclosure announcements are made, the true spiritual element of your globe needs to reveal its many doctrines and teachings. We prefer to make ourselves known to you only after these statements are read and joyously explained to you. Disclosure is a process wherein many false and artfully rearranged beliefs are straightened out. These explanations will form a foundation for what we Ascended Masters wish to convey for, to you. Our teachings will assist the work of the personnel that is the first contact team intends to bring down to your world shortly after their many announcements are finished. End of quote. Here's more from Susie Ward, Messages from Matthew. By seeing disclosure as the essential and inseparable part of the ascension process that it is, there need be no disappointment or discouragement because official recognition of our family's presence has not yet happened. Be assured it will. Their public reception by specific world leaders will be the crowning point of the entire disclosure process. And, like you, we are eagerly anticipating that momentous day. We do understand that knowing, when, is very important to you. And so I have asked Hatton if he can give us an update on that. Hatton, thank you for asking me, Matthew. First, I want to say that I concur with everything you said about disclosure and why an official welcome is still on hold. And I thank you for explaining that our crews and ships are doing whatever they can to help you while they're waiting to land, and our ground crews are holding up their end, too. We've been in readiness for a decade to get this show on the road. But getting on to when will be announced. Safety is still an issue. Of course. But the new key is the November presidential election in, in the United States. Well, we're still waiting. And Obama's efforts to get reforms going have been blocked by his foes in the Congress or the moneyed individuals who control most members. Through either death threats to his family or block voting, Obama has been forced into decisions that are against his conscience, conscience and his world vision. After he knew that he and his family had our protection, his mind was relieved of that deep concern, but he still has to deal with unyielding part partisanship and blatant lies or distortions of facts. That's what's on center stage in the U.S. right now, and what should be there is how that nation will cooperate with other countries to fix the sorry state the world is in. If our making an appearance becomes pivotal to Obama keeping his position, we'll do that in sufficient time before the election. If we see that his re-election is certain, we'll show up soon afterwards. Again, this is not political. Once, once we're there, political differences won't be an issue in any country. The truth about us and many other situations that will be disclosed will be. Matthew, 
Hatton, we thank you for explaining the situation so clearly and for the assurance that whether shortly before or shortly after that election day, the official welcoming of our universal family is soon. That ends our concerns that souls might choose to leave when nothing dynamic happens December 21st. The spe spectacular drama will come with the introduction of our space family. End of quote. We here at the Galactic Free Press will be beginning these announcements in which we'll change this planet forever. And indeed, this is already unfolding. Decreed by heaven, we are heading towards the planet-wide portal opening. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet Earth, equal heart. Join us live for our internet love party beginning at 1.30 p.m. Pacific, Wednesday, September 8th. 8. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission, and all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, humanity's earth allies the company of heaven, and the first contact ground routine.